This is just a very quick test with the Nikon D600, which just arrived today. I've got the remote control set up to do a bracket of just five images, and I have the firmware 2.58 installed. I only have the USB connector. As you can see there, it's only connected. I do have the shutter release on order, so it's, when it arrives, I'm gonna retest this with the shutter release. It should be much faster, because unfortunately, the D600 is extremely slow. I had to go into the settings and change the uh, one setting under there. I forget which number it is, but I had to change it to 3,500 milliseconds delay. As you're gonna hear, it's quite a bit of delay in between shots, so I would recommend if you are gonna get the promote control, and the D600 to go ahead and order, along with the promote control, the shutter release that comes with it, which happens to be the shutter release that is um, for the Nikon D90 and D7000. You can just check their website. But anyway, go ahead and hit start here and start this bracket. and there's the beep. So as you can see, that's extremely slow between each series. If I was putting the milliseconds down below 3500, what I was getting was it was skipping frames. So with the shutter release, it gives you additional things that you can do in the options, such as setting uh, an adaptive release so that it looks at each frame before it goes to the next one. And obviously when you get the shutter release, as with all the other cameras, it increases the speed at which it can shoot. Um, generally very close to the frames per second that the camera can do. So I'm hoping when I get the shutter release, it's going to be closer to the 5.5 frames per second that the D600 can do natively. And when I get that, I'll retest it and I'll post another video.